I, I do, there's a couple of things that I don't want to do too much of. I don't want to talk about Rob Ford on Jimmy Kimmel because uh, I'll cry. Um, <laughs> it was funny, but I'll cry. Cause, and I'm not embarrassed, because I don't get embarrassed by the actions of a politician, because they don't actually represent us as human beings, but it's just shameful. And that's different. So I want to, the other thing I didn't want to get too much into is the weather, but have we had enough? <laughs> have we, it's just, it's heavy. You know, the snow today in Toronto, I know across the country, the temperatures are so brutal, it shouldn't be this bad. And people out there going, oh my God, I thought there was supposed to be global warming. This is it. It's called climate change, but I don't want to focus on the negative. I want to focus on the positive. I want to find out when this is actually going to end, and I want to use science to get there. I want to go to my favorite astrologer, Phil Booth. Hey, Phil, how are you, hey, man? Good to meet you. Good to see you. Right? Yeah. Good to see you. I, uh, I, did, like, I, I wasn't an astrology guy by any means, but then people started, and by people I mean my ex-girlfriend, started sending me links to your site, and right. your, your stuff was uh, so bang on to me that I thought you were reading my emails. Then I thought you probably weren't reading my emails. She was probably just sending you. I worked you with the NSA. You worked with the NSA. <laughs> Somebody is. When is so, but you know because you talk to the stars. I think that's yeah. how it works, right? Yeah. And I don't mean Tom Cruise, but like the yeah. actual stars. Yeah, right? the stars, yeah. Right. And um, terrorists and the planets and everything, yeah. Do, so can you actually figure out if the Earth is going to get warmer anytime soon in the right places at the right time? Uh, I, I, well, I think it would be difficult to, to figure out the actual um, sort of weather pattern, you know, that exact. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, the, the intense, I mean, you, you get signs of it. Like nature is always talking to us. Remember... Uh, yeah, right now it's telling us to off, Yeah, exactly. It? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's trying to shake us off, freeze us to death. Yeah. But, you know, at the end of 2010, uh, that was a very important time. It's when the Arab Spring started. Uh, it was like January 31st, 2010, dead birds, dead fish. Remember all the birds were falling out? That was the beginning of it there. Right. And the, bird, the birds, I realized, were an indication that uh, air would be turbulent because we got loads of tornadoes. That's when the big tornado started. And then the fish were like floods, precipitation and water. And that's when it started. We're screwed, aren't we? Yeah, it's not looking good. But, you know, I am, you know, an optimist. So, You're so I'm going to ask you yeah. a couple other questions sure. right here. Will invasive species like the pine beetle or the Asian stink bug be so damaged by the brutal winter that it might make this whole thing worth it after all? Absolutely. I've been thinking that all the time. <laughs> Longhorn beetle and all that, you know, save the trees. Uh, will it ever stop being funny watching somebody slip and fall on their ass provided they're not seriously injured? Um, I, I think it will always be funny, that. Yeah. All right, how about this one? If you did the stars, how long on St. Patrick's Day before Rob Ford passes out? Uh, do, do you think he's going to make it that long? <laughs> He'll start on midnight, midnight before. Um, hold on, before you clap. How does it look for Leo? What's my, what's my day like tomorrow? Uh, what, tomorrow? Uh, let's see. Well, we got, uh, we just finished the Venus retrograde. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm going to, you know, I, I'm saying it's going to be absolutely fantastic. You're lying. You, know, you don't you're, know, do you? Uh, <laughs> you don't know. Let's see. Putin. Can we have him have he's, a bad year? He's, a, he's a, a Libra. He's a Libra. Yeah, artistic Libra. Seriously? Yeah, but Hitler had a lot of Libra uh, <laughs> as well, too. <laughs> And, um, had a lot of Libra. Is that the name of your new book? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually a good title. Huh? <laughs> don't, don't publish it. Uh, well, thanks for that. Uh, so, so you think we'll get warm soon-ish? Uh, it's, uh, I, I mean, I was hoping for an early spring because I heard a cardinal singing, you know, right. last month. But it's, it's uh, I, I think it's going to suddenly break and, and the spring it, uh, will come uh, through uh, there. a bird or a person of the cloth? I, I saw it. No, it was a red cardinal up in the okay. tree. It was definitely up in the tree. Okay. I, I traced it. I wanted to make sure, you know. <laughs> but I saw it. It was for real. It wasn't like a stuffed one, you know. Good to see you, sir. <laughs> Phil Booth, yeah. everybody. You got to check him out. Phil Booth, that's yeah. the site right there. We'll be right back.